Well, hello there, friends. It's Miss Caitlin here. And today we are going to read a story called One Good Deed. This story relates a lot to what we talk about our mitzvot or when we do a good mitzvah or a good deed or kindness for another person. It's wonderful that this story is an also features a Jewish family. Let's get started, friends. One Good Deed by Terry Fields. Even on sunny days, Lancaster Street seemed dark and gloomy. Neighbors did not smile at each other or talk to each other or help each other. But one day, as Jake climbed his mulberry tree to pick its ripe fruit, he saw old Mrs. Thompson outside her house next door. Do you see Jake climbing in the tree? Mulberries are yummy berries. I think you guys would really like them. Suddenly, Jake had a thought he'd never thought before. I bet she's sad she can't climb trees. I could take her some of these delicious mulberries. Wow, that is such a nice thought, right, you guys? Oh, wow, look at him just giving over his beautiful basket of berries. When Jake arrived, Mrs. Thompson was surprised. She was delighted. She had enough fruit to make two mulberry pies. Then she had a thought she'd never thought before. I loved getting these mulberries. I bet Mr. Riley next door would like one of my pies. Wow, she had enough berries from her friend Jake to make two pies and she thought to share it with her next door neighbor. That's so kind. When Mrs. Thompson arrived, Mr. Riley was surprised. Oh, Mr. Riley was delighted. As he ate the delicious pie, he looked out the window and watched the kids next door playing ball. Suddenly, he saw the ball land on the roof of his garage. Then he had a thought he never thought before. Hmm, I bet I could help them. I could take my ladder and get their ball. When Mr. Riley handed them back their ball, Jeffrey and Joshua were surprised. They were delighted. As they tossed it back and forth, they saw Mr. Lee hobbling on his crutches to his front door. Oh no, do you see Mr. Lee over here? Looks like he has a hurt foot. Then Jake, I mean, uh, Jeffrey and Joshua had a thought they'd never thought before. Mr. Lee can't rake the leaves in his yard. Not right now, but we could. Oh, look, they came over. When the boys arrived with their rakes, Mr. Lee was surprised. Oh, Mr. Lee was delighted too. Soon they were joined by Sammy Cohen from next door, carrying a rake. My computer is broken, so I can't finish my homework. I'll help you rake. And then, Mr. Lee had a thought he'd never thought before. Well, I'm good at computers. Maybe I could fix Sammy's computer. Wow, look how all this kindness is spreading everywhere. When Mr. Lee arrived, the Cohens were surprised. The Cohens were delighted, and before you know it, the computer was up and running again. When Mrs. Cohen sat down to check her email, she looked out her window and saw Ashley from next door riding a rusty old bike. Then she had a thought she never thought before. We have a practically new bike that Sammy has outgrown. It would be perfect for Ashley. Oh, look at that beautiful red bike. That really is lovely. When Mrs. Cohen arrived with the new bike, Ashley was surprised. Ashley was delighted. She rode her new bike around the neighborhood, waving and smiling and calling hello to all her neighbors. The neighbors were surprised and most importantly, the neighbors were delighted. Everyone waved and smiled back. Soon, even on gray days, Lancaster Street seemed warm and sunny. How had that happened? No one knew. 
Not even Jake realized that it had all begun with a basket of mulberries and one mitzvah, one good deed. The end. Do you see? Jake's basket of mulberries led to the pie and the pie was shared. And then friends helped rake leaves for Mr. Lee and the ball was rescued from the garage and Jake's, Sammy's mom donated her bike. All of these people were extending such kindnesses and good deeds. Okay, my friends, it was wonderful to be with you today. Thank you for joining me as we read this wonderful story and I will see you very soon.